Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a game review and also a how I'm doing video as well, slash game review as well. But this game review is for Resident Evil 5, uh, the 2009 game that I'm going to be reviewing. And if you're wondering what this is, it's because I, sorry about the ding, it's my messenger or whatever. Um, yeah. If you're wondering what this is, it's because uh, I choked on an Advil and I was straining and squinting my eyes so hard while, you know, trying to throw it up. It sounds very disgusting, I know. But, yeah, it was not pretty. And I was like, fuck. And then I popped this blood vessel and it just, no. It. I woke, I found out about this last night at midnight, so I was like, what the fuck is this? So, yeah, that's how I'm doing right now, it's just really sucking, and if you hear that background noise, it's the fan or whatever, and I'm sounding a little distant from talking too much, because I'm just, didn't have a great uh, end of the weekend. So it really kind of sucked that I just got this right in the corner of my eye and inside my eye, of course. So I popped like a blood vessel is what happened. And yeah, but now to talk about the game review, hopefully uh, uh, you just, hopefully you guys will understand and this is how it's going to be for the next few weeks, because it said it's going to take, my doctor said it's going to take a few weeks to heal, so that's the shittiest part. Uh, like three to four weeks, so I'm going to be doing, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of this for the next few weeks, but it should be healing up by then. Um, but yeah, now to talk about the game that I'm reviewing Resident Evil 5. I'm going to discuss what I played for this game and experienced, and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Sorry it took me a little bit to go into explanation about why this was here. And yeah, it's it just sucks that I have to deal with too much. I think stress caused it too as well, but not to the point where it was creating it, because... I think this was starting to form like during the night of yesterday night and it really sucks but yeah I really enjoyed this game uh, Resident Evil 5 it was very good um there's you play as Chris and then your partner's name is Sheva in the game as well and you pretty much have to go to Africa, which it takes place in Africa at first, and then it, uh, you have to follow this guy Irving at first, and then later on you go and, uh, find out who the masked person is that's saving Irving and all that, and you find out later on, but it takes a little bit to get there, but yeah. Hopefully you guys will send thoughts and prayers to me healing up for this, uh, for my full recovery on that. But, yeah, I just wanted to mention that so you guys don't freak out over it, which you're probably going to freak out when you see this video, because it kind of looks really fucked up. <laughs> like, I got punched in the face kind of fucked up. Uh... But, not really punched in the face like someone punched me in my eye, or whatever. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much what happened. It was a blood vessel that bursted, and it really sucked. Um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this game. I think the hardest fight in this game was the Wesker fight. I died a couple times trying to beat that. And also, the Excella fight, Excella, 
uh, where you have to fight this big, huge uh, monster or whatever, just by a weapon, and it's it's crazy. It took me a few tries to get it, but I used the LGT to pretty much kill it, uh, which is a rocket launcher, I guess you could say, that has a locking system to lock onto the target you're trying to shoot at, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought Resident Evil 5 was a great game. I personally would recommend you guys check this out if you haven't played it, and definitely purchase this game for sure, because I actually got it uh, on Xbox Store or whatever, so I digitally downloaded it, and I bought it, then I down installed it to my Xbox, so it's pretty cool of a game. But for a score, I think I'm going to give Resident Evil 5, the 2009 game, for Xbox 360 slash Xbox One, a uh, 9 out of 10. This was a pretty awesome game, and I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't played it, and I think you guys will like this game. I know it's been out for 12 years, so pretty much almost a lot of people have played it now, and I am going to review Resident Evil 6 as well. And I know I reviewed Biohazard, then Village, now I'm doing this game review a few days later. Because I didn't really have a lot of videos to talk about, to do today. I almost was ready to take a break today and then do Army of the Dead movie review sometime in the middle of the week, I think. Or tomorrow, at least. But, yeah, uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this special slash game review for how I'm doing slash uh, uh, Resident Evil 5 game review. Sorry if I said uh, a couple times. Uh, if you did like this um, track, not track review, this game review, <laughs> I'm getting it all mixed up. Please forgive me on that. Uh, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this special slash game review video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. Sorry that I showed you guys this. This is going to be like this for a couple weeks. So it really sucks. Because the thing has to heal. But it's going to heal gradually. But it should be gone in like a few weeks or so. Which hate that I have to always, there's always something that always fucks uh, with how I'm doing and all that with health wise, so this was a pretty serious issue, and I had to go see my eye doctor for it, and that's what they told me, and yeah, thank, but thank you guys for on. Um, Hopefully understanding where I'm coming from with the eye thing that just happened, like, last night. Yeah, it hap I found out about it, like, past midnight, and I was like, what the fuck? Which I got off someone's stream and then found out about it, like, 12-ish, uh, like, past midnight, I guess you could say. So, it's pretty scary shit, and... Uh, what I would recommend is don't get stressed out too much, because I tend to do that sometimes, and don't choke on an Advil, because <laughs> now I gotta take liquid Advil, because it, regular Advil pills, I'll just choke on, because it just doesn't suit me very well. I gotta take the squishy capsule ones now, which... I don't know, it's always something, and this caused me to strain a bit to where I just bleh, did that. <laughs> and I squinted my eyes so hard that that's what happened. That's what I believe happened, but who knows, it could have been affected by stress too, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, 
special video slash game review. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Definitely stay safe. Take care. I will be doing a game stream tonight for sure at 9 o'clock. So in my time, of course, because it's now 721. I just want to get this video uploaded and then do my game stream at 9. So I'm going to really try to do that. But stay safe. Take care. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow in my Tuesday album review, of course. So I'll see you in that video tomorrow and in my next video as well.